Tesla has been releasing electric vehicles ever since the beginning of this decade. But possibly its most intriguing invention is its newest truck. Tesla's Elon Musk stunned the world with a futuristic truck right out of a science fiction film. Its launch included two broken windows, and the company announced a very compelling price point at $39,000 before incentives in the US. That's literally way less than many people expected. Cybertruck is available for pre-order with a $100 deposit. The reason for its cost is part of Tesla's new affordability strategy in which they'll work to create cheaper products available to the public. Most of Tesla's products are, after all, quite expensive. They use high-tech technology, manufacturing, and some of the best electric batteries in the world. But that doesn't change that they cost an arm and a leg to purchase, with even their current budget model, the Model 3, being as expensive as, or even more than, the Cybertruck's base price. So how does this make any sense from a business point of view? And how are we so sure this will be a successful business idea? Elon Musk decided to push the limits and break expectations in a pretty bold way. For sure, it would have been easy for Tesla to build an electric drivetrain powered truck that was impressive but conventional. Tesla has a history of pushing the limits of engineering design, and that is not by accident. Their first car, the original Roadster, featured a conventional chassis from Lotus Elise, but with an electric drivetrain in place of a combustion engine. The electric drivetrain was new and different enough to grab attention. The Model S got a new chassis that made every Tesla fan squeal in excitement when they saw it. When Ford launched their Mustang Mach-E in 2019 to compete, its cockpit design had many similarities with Tesla's Model S. What had been extreme had become the norm. That's an important point that we'll be taking a further look at later in the video, so stay until the end to learn how Cybertruck will absolutely change the world of vehicular design. When Tesla launched the Model X, its Falcon wing doors stood out, as did its biohazard mode. Again, Musk generated tons of buzz thanks to his social media presence and its innovative design. Ironically, though the Falcon wing doors were more annoying than useful in the end, there's no doubt that Tesla fans bought it anyway to add it to their car collection. There's no doubt that Elon Musk is a visionary, but even more baffling have been his thoughts about the matter. When debuting his new Cybertruck a few months ago, Elon Musk reframed this statement. I actually don't know if a lot of people will buy this pickup truck or not, he said, but I don't care. Cybertruck pushes the design limits at the very moment that the competition has accepted previously controversial ideas as the new norm. The Cybertruck is so bold, so extreme, so polarizing that no manufacturer would dare copy it. The risks for them, for now, are just too high. On top of that, Elon Musk's nonchalant attitude about the topic makes it even more juicy for those who want to stand out from the crowd. In any kind of company, a comment like this would cause chaos and mayhem. However, in Tesla, the effect was actually the complete opposite. Elon Musk has mastered the Oprah effect better than many other entrepreneurs, as he's such a celebrity that whenever he says he likes something, people will also like it and buy it. In the case of the Cybertruck, he updated a common product, the pickup truck, by removing a main pain point, terrible gas mileage. With its unusual styling, he's also allowing anyone who purchases it to make a statement they will stand out immediately as someone who bought into his message. People always want to cater to their own egos. They want to look different from the rest. And even though the Cybertruck is affordable, there's no reason why someone might be drawn to its admittedly out of this world textile. But whoever does will instantly be known as that guy or girl with the Cybertruck, allowing him or her to join an elite group of people who dared to purchase the truck. On top of that, the Cybertruck can be considered a polarizing product. Pushing the limits as far as Tesla did with Cybertruck does qualify as positively insane and therefore authentic for Elon Musk. For conventional car manufacturers, such a move would simply not be comprehensible. To their customers, it would feel literally insane. But Elon Musk can easily get away with it thanks to his personal branding. Musk's concept for the Cybertruck was extreme build a truck stronger than an F-150 and faster than a Porsche 911. In a sense, 
he was attacking two iconic products at once. It also gave customers something to think about. Would he even be able to outdo two incredibly powerful products with one particularly cheap and crazy looking truck with broken windows? Nobody really needed a truck with such specs, but by capturing attention, it created desire. Cybertruck wasn't designed to blend in. It was designed to break from the norm by being extreme. But another reason why the Cybertruck is also one of the best marketed products ever without ever being released is how its design also allows a many hidden benefits above its competition. Looking back to the example of the Lamborghini Aventador, the Aventador has fuel economy ratings in the single digits. It ranks among the least efficient cars on the market due to those results. It has low rear visibility, and its trunk offers a mere five cubic feet of storage, which fills up with a bag of your track day gear. There is not much small item storage up front either. It looks great and will definitely turn heads, but it doesn't do anything other than being extremely fast. The Cybertruck has a crazy looking design, but is also extremely powerful, given that its exoskeleton is made from stainless steel plates developed for SpaceX rockets, enabling massive cost savings like obviating need for a paint job and significant structural benefits. That's why it's so cheap. It's wildly efficient and looks great because it stands out. Musk's extreme pricing strategy was achievable only because of its extreme design. Finally, Elon Musk knew how to appeal to a certain crowd with the Cybertruck's release and design, but also its promotional materials, teasers, and video marketing. Cybertruck takes sci-fi design to a new level. The vehicle looks like something from Blade Runner, and in fact, the post-apocalyptic vibe of the movie inspired the car design and the launch event. Countless memes evolve around Cybertruck, and Elon Musk stokes the fire with a tweet or two here and there. The unique visual language of Tesla's Cybertruck make the perfect canvas for user-generated content. Its design is so unique that it's marketing for itself. People talk about this product all the time and send memes or fan art because it's a pattern break. It's the only truck of its kind. All these pop culture references and unconventional moves are fodder for existing and future fans to talk and laugh about. It's an important lesson in business. Be anything but boring. The Cybertruck is cheap, it's eco-friendly, it's powerful, and it has an exclusive design that no manufacturer would dare copy for a long while. That's a billion dollar formula right there. And there's no doubt that Elon Musk's net worth will skyrocket after he launches this bad boy. So what are your thoughts on the Cybertruck? Do you think this was a clever billionaire idea? Or is it something plain silly? Drop us a comment down below and let us know. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.